Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, Out of Ammo, Out of Time. I'm your host as always, Krabby Terror 8 and here we are in episode 5 of the Investigator Games Midnight Masks edition with everybody's favourite waitress, Agnes Baker. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, and I, I'm sure there are some, I hope, uh, what is the Investigator Games? Well, it's a bit like the Hunger Games. We take each investigator and take them through a scenario, true solo, see how they go, and then we put them into a league table, a little bit like this one. Now, if you are new to the channel, there is a whole series of Investigator Games episodes where each of the investigators, as they currently stand, uh, has gone through the gathering. So you might want to watch those first because, uh, as you can see from this table, this is the aggregate of, uh, of the two. <clears throat> and we can see at the moment Roland is at the top of the table. He's doing reasonably well. Uh, Midnight Masks is uh, much more challenging for the investigators. It's also challenging for the city of Arkham. Um, they will only allow us to use the city about between 4 and 7 a.m. on particular days to avoid traffic. Uh, which means it's quite cold and, and sort of a little bit difficult from that perspective. So, um, yes, here we are with, um, with Agnes. Um, so I had a chat, quick chat to her in the trailer before we began. Uh, and, um, yeah, she's reasonably confident about her. She did reasonably well during the gathering, so she's reasonably confident she's going to do okay in the Midnight Masks. Um, we'll have a look at how she's upgraded her deck in a second. Not much more to say about my chat with Agnes, except um, we did talk about uh, there was a pre-Midnight Masks party where all the investigators were there. Uh, and her rendition of the Human League's Don't You Want Me Baby was uh, was a real standout hit. She's certainly a very talented singer. <coughs> and also, uh, she, she's pretty good on the keyboard as well. So uh, she certainly likes that, um, that uh, new romantic era of music uh, and the Human League, people like that in particular. So good on Agnes for that. Now, I must apologize uh, ahead of time if my um, if the screen keeps dimming. I'm not sure why I have my um, computer plugged in, but for some reason, uh, if I don't uh, do if I don't do something, it, it keeps dimming and I don't know why it's doing that because it is uh, it is charged up. So uh, I'll try and keep the mouse moving. But if it does dim momentarily now and again, I do apologize about that. So let's just um, let's just do a couple of things in terms of just reacquainting ourselves with Agnes. It's certainly been a while since I've played Agnes. Um, as we can see, she she was the first Mystic investigator in Arkham Horror, the card game. Uh, and also, spoilers, if you haven't played Arkham Horror the card game before, I would really encourage you to do that first. Um, I'm assuming you, you know how to play and that you've played before. So she has a very high willpower of five, which is great because uh, she's got lots of spells that rely on willpower. Um, she also has a... Oh, it's on the other side now. Oh. Huh. There we go. She has a f she has an intellect of two and a fight of two, which are relatively low, and she also has a vitality or an, uh, of three. So um, her other skills are on the lowish side. So she is reasonably dependent on spells, which rely on willpower to help her out or or her survivor um, skills to to get her through things. So that's probably going to be her biggest challenge here in the Midnight Masks is just those low intellect and low fight. I've tried to help with those a little bit by changing her deck. She had 6 XP, we'll get that into a second. But before we do that, if horror is placed on Agnes, she deals damage to an enemy, which is, uh, which is quite uh, handy. She can do that once per phase. And um, she gets plus one for each horror. So actually having horror on her... Even having um, mental trauma is actually um, can can be a positive for Agnes, uh, which may not be for other investigators. I remember another life, one of sorcery and conquest. So yeah, just in terms of her deck. Now we started with the Fantasy Flight uh, starter deck, which wasn't the world's 
most fantastic starter deck, particularly for Mystics, most notably because it only had one shriveling in it. So just a couple of things. Her special card is the um, Heirloom of Hyperborea, which um, you know has three pips on it, but also if you have it down on the table, when you play a spell card, you draw a card. Her Dark Memory is sort of a mixed blessing because you can place a Doom on the uh, current agenda uh, to get rid of it, but also if Dark Memory is in your hand at the end of your turn, reveal it and take to Horror. So actually, um, with this, with Peter Sylvester, the fact that you, you actually take the Horror, uh, if you've actually got enemies around, uh, can actually be of some kind of benefit. Her weakness that she drew during the gathering was uh, Amnesia, pretty standard weakness, choosing to discard all but one card from your hand. Now in terms of her 6 XP upgrade, I made a couple of changes. I've put in two Peter Sylvester's, um, Peter Silvestri's, I'm sorry, Big Man on Campus. It gives you a passive um, skill boost to your... Um, is it vitality, agility, whatever it's called, and also you can heal horror, so um, that can be quite handy because you can put horror on Peter Sylvester and then you can heal it again. Um, apart from that, I also added an extra drawn to the flame, which is a very fast way of drawing extra clues. I've also added an extra ward of protection, an extra lucky, and an extra shriveling because there was only one shriveling in the deck. So rather than upgrade cards, I've really added to her um, and taken out um, some card like Dig Deep and things like that, um, which, uh, you know, which were, weren't particularly um, helpful. So we've really just sort of taken some cards out and added some new cards in is essentially what we've done to try and make her deck um, a little bit better than it was before. It's still not ideal but it's certainly better. I would have liked, for example, maybe another Holy Rosary would have been good. I would have liked to replace the baseball bat with the fire axe. But in this particular circumstance, it felt better to get Peter in and also to get another shriveling and, a, and lucky and, of course, water protection, things like that. So uh, that's what I've decided. If you think I should have, you know, done something a bit different, uh, Mists of Relay, for example, or something else, then uh, by all means, let me know. But that seemed like the most judicious thing to do. Okay, so here we are with Agnes ready to roll in the Midnight Mask. So it's time to draw our hand. Let's just shuffle it up. What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? Well, I suppose the core things we need for Agnes are three things. Shriveling. Without shriveling, we're going to really struggle. So we want shriveling down on the table. Um, having Peter Silvestri or Arcane Initiate uh, as an ally is super helpful as well. So we, we would like one of those. And then some way of getting clues, because clues are always a challenge. So we want to um, ensure we get something like that as well. So I think they're the core three things. Then things like Lucky and some of those Survivor cards are also helpful. But for me, those are the three core things that, that Agnes is going to need to do well in this. So let's, um, let's shuffle up and draw, and we get the baseball bat. I guess that's a weapon. We get emergency cash. No, no, dark memory. No. We get a knife, lots of weapons. Again, unexpected courage. And we get a flashlight. Wow. Okay. Um, hmm. The problem with the baseball bat is two-handed. You know what? The only thing I want to keep in all of this is probably the flashlight. Flashlight is super handy. I'm going to throw all of these in and draw another four. So we get the holy rosary get another knife, um, water protection, and another flashlight. Wow, okay, not a great start. <laughs> That's not what we wanted. Um, so no shriveling. Um, but we did get a flashlight and no ally. But that's okay, because maybe there's a Mars boarding house. So that's a kind of a disappointing start. But that's all right. We can, uh, we, you know, we, we, we work with the hand that we're dealt. So let's go ahead and start. We're on turn one. Um, three actions. So um, let's have a bit of a setup start. Um, let's start and spend two. 
for our first action and let's bring out the Holy Rosary Winder because why not? Let's give ourselves a wheel of six uh, uh, extra soak on our horror. That's the first action. Um, then um, for our um, second action, we will spend two and we will bring out the old flashlight with three supplies. There we go. So uh, we're, we're, you know, we shouldn't have any trouble getting clues now. And um, for our third action, I'm going to use this draw a card and gain a resource. So I'm going to draw a card. Uh, oh, we get the Arcane Initiate and we'll get a resource. Arcane Initiate, that's great. Um, but we don't want to put the Arcane Initiate down yet. So the problem is that uh, it adds a doom. So we would want to wait till we're on um, turn uh, a little bit later. So that's the only problem with the Arcane Initiate is we don't want to be putting Doom down on the table, particularly Midnight Masks. We can't afford that. So, but you know, that's not a bad card to get. Okay, so that was our first first turn. We um, it was just very much a setup phase. We, uh, we got the Holy Rosary down, so if we do get Shriveling now, which we really do need Shriveling, um, we're going to be well placed with uh, 6 willpower. And we got the, um, we got the good old uh, flashlight down. So next time, I think the aim is to grab this clue, get to Rivertown, grab the second clue, and then bring out the first cultist, because time is of the essence in this particular scenario. Okay, so that's the end of our um, our turn. So we move into the. Oh, where are we? We move from the investigation phase. Um, oh, it's not auto scrolling. Hmm. Into the enemy phase or the enema phase, as I like to call it. Of course, there are no enemies on the table, so we will move straight into the upkeep phase. Ah, we draw our uh, weakness, dark memory, put a doom on the current agenda. Okay, we'll put do that. So uh, that's not what we need at the moment, but we'll put a doom on the current agenda. Ah, no, what am I doing? You've got to pay for it. You've got to actually pay for it. Place a doom on the current agenda. This effect can cause the current agenda to advance. If dark memory is in your hand at the end of your turn, um, reveal it and take to horror. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, basically we've got to spend two to get rid of it. Or we can take two horror, which you can actually use to, uh, to actually do some damage because, uh, of course, after one or more horrors, you can, you can do that. So we could use it to kill, um, <laughs> we could use it to kill something like a, uh, a, 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 a cultist of some kind or help us kill it anyway. Okay, so, uh, but I think we'll probably be getting rid of it. All right, so we uh, we move into the uh, Mythos phase. The first Doom is down on the table. It's time to see what the lovely encounter deck has for us. And, well, 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 what a surprise. The Acolyte has turned up. So, uh, yes, so we put them in a in an empty space. So I, I guess we'll put them in... Uh, where should we put them? Actually, I might, I might put the acolyte here, because no danger of it flipping at the moment, um, because that still allows us to pick up the clues, and then we can, um, we can deal with the. Uh, well, no, because we don't want this. It has to be at your location. So no, I'm changing my mind there. Put this at River Town, uh, and we can kill the acolyte, uh, and essentially. Um, keep dark memory, um, so that's that's actually quite quite handy, uh, as long as we can afford to take the horror. And at the moment, I think we we can. I mean, we don't have Peter Sylvester, but we've got two horror here, and we've got plenty of horror at the moment, so it's not a big deal. So I'm actually I'm reasonably okay with that. So this you know dark memory sometimes can work in Agnes's favour. It's one of the few weaknesses that an investigator has that actually can can be of a benefit 
in that way. So, uh, hmm. okay. All right, so that's the end of the mythos phase. So we move into the investigation phase. Three actions. On to Agnes. Um, so what do we want to do here? Um, and I'm also mindful that we have Ward of Protection, which we can use to cancel treachery cards and take a horror as well. Uh, and that's a nice one to have up our sleeve as well to, for a similar kind of effect where we can cancel a card and uh, a monster or an enemy can take a, take a damage in the process. So I think the first thing we do is we, uh, we, we grab this clue. Now it's, it's two versus two, so I'm actually going to spend, is it three, three resources on? Yeah, three supplies. So I'm gonna spend one of the supplies on the flashlight. So that makes this a shroud of zero. So it's now a zero versus two. So I think as long as we don't auto fail, I think we uh, we will get this. So chaos bag gives us a plus one. <laughs> we didn't even need to do that, but that's all right. So we get the clue from the, uh, it's our first action from the house. Uh, our second action will be to um, now, hold on, we've just got to time this right, because if we move, then we'll have the acolyte on us. And then, oh yeah, no, we don't want to do that. So what I might do for the second action is uh, draw the card, draw another card and gain a resource. So we draw a card, we get fearless, we gain a resource. There we go. And then for our final action, we will move um, to River Town, which means that the uh, Acolyte is on us. We can flip River Town, which is a shroud of one with a clue on it. So that was our third action. So we're in River Town. We now have the Acolyte um, on us. Hello, I'm an Acolyte. I'm going to kill you. And um, that's the end of our turn. So we had three actions. Um, We'll get to that in a second. Three actions. So basically we successfully investigated for the clue. We then used the draw a card and gain a resource and we got fearless, which is to heal horror, which is it's a nice card to get. And um, we then moved, our third action was to move to River Town. And we're now engaged with the Acolyte. We haven't gotten rid of Dark Memory. If Dark Memory is in your hand at the end of your turn, reveal it take two horror, so we take two horror, we'll put a horror onto uh, the horror, the horror, we'll put a horror onto the Holy Rosary, we'll take the other horror, which means that we uh, we do one damage to an enemy, and so the Acolyte dies. <coughs> Gone. Nice. Now we will need to deal with this, <laughs> unless we get another Acolyte, but you know, there's a limit <laughs> to how many times uh, we can keep doing this, of course. Um, but, you know, that was a nice, efficient way of getting rid of the Acolyte. So, before we move forward, I think the main thing is that we will um, grab this second clue and um, get the first cultist out. And then, depending on who the cultist is, we'll either take a trip down to Southside and maybe we can get another ally. Or we can draw cards if it's the Hysterical Society. Uh, it's always handy to get that, or uh, we can deal with the cultists, whoever they are. But the thing I'm conscious of is not having shriveling, and the mouse hunter will be arriving at some stage, and we really do need shriveling. So it's kind of a bit of a bummer that he's he's not a, that that we don't have shriveling at the moment. Okay. All right. That's the end of our turn. So we move into the enemy phase. There are no enemies to speak of, of course. So we move into the upkeep phase and we get a resource and we get lucky, which is great. Great card. One, two, three, four, seven cards. Okay, so that's the end of our upkeep phase. So we, uh, fantastic. So we move into uh, the uh, turn three, two doom down. It's now time to see what the lovely encounter deck has for us, and the lovely encounter deck has a hunting night gaunt. Of course, it does. Oh boy. 
And um, that's bad because we don't really have, well, we wouldn't want to use our shriveling anyway. But I think the main thing is we've just got to evade. It's, it's the only way we can really deal with these hunting night gaunts. Um, yeah, so that's unfortunate. But they're, they're a pain in the backside, but they come up all the time. Okay, so we will move into the investigation phase. Three actions on to Agnes. So let's see what we need to do here. So I think the main thing here is obviously to evade the hunting night gaunt. Hopefully we can do that in one turn. Um, pick up the clue, and we're going to have to. Um, we're going to have to get rid of our dark prophecy as well. So. Um, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna be stuck here for a little while, a um, little bit um, delayed. We couldn't have even used Ward of Protection because it's not a it's not a, a a treachery card, so it's not like we could have stopped it. Um, the main thing is to get another clue because what's going to otherwise, because there's going to be three doom, this is going to be already halfway through, so we, we need to, we need to get some clues down on the table as quickly as possible, and we've got no drawn to the flame either. So first action is to evade the hunting night gaunt, which is a one with double negative, and we are a three. Um, and we've got lucky. If we have to use it, I don't really want to use it though for this, but anyway. So a 1 versus 3, let's see what the Chaos Bag gives us, and the Chaos Bag gives us a minus 1, so that's a minus 2. So yes, we succeed in, um, in, oh, that's a bit weird. Oh, don't know why it does that. Okay. Um... Let's just, just rotate it. I don't know why it brings out that little thing. That must be some other function. All right, so we exhausted the Night Gaunt. That's good. That was our first action. Um, our second action is to... Um, maybe... Um, well, let's spend the two and get rid of um, Dark Memory, which puts another Doom down. It's annoying, but anyway. Um, yep. And um, our third action, I'd like to get this clue, but to be honest, I want to be out of here. I don't want to have to deal with the Hunting Night Gaunt again, if I can help it. Um, do, 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 do. Or do we go for the clue? Because it's only a one. Then again, if we can get Peter Sylvester, it's going to be easier for us to evade. Um, oh, this is really hard to know what to do. Um... We've got the, the flashlight, which is going to make it easier to get clues at other locations, so I am going to move. I don't want to be... Because the problem with the Night Gaunt is, is you can actually just waste a whole turn because of the double negative modifier. It's on the minus one or better, so a minus two, minus three, and you can just end up literally losing most of a turn trying to evade it. So I think I was lucky I did it in one turn, so I think I'm better off avoiding it. Going to, ah uh, yes, it's the Hysterical Society. Which is not bad, because we can draw three cards. Uh, so uh, I think our main thing will be to draw three cards, grab the clue, and then move away. So we can um, we can bring out the first cultist. That will probably be the uh, what we'll be doing next time. So there we go. That was... Uh, that was a reasonably okay, considering where we're at, that was a reasonably okay round turn. We um, evaded the, the Night Gaunt, 
successfully with a minus one. We then got rid of our dark memory, which unfortunately put a doom down. And then we uh, moved to the south side, which turned out to be the hysterical society. So that's the end of our turn. Um, yes, I do know it's called the Historical Society. I just like to call it the Historical Society. And uh, so that's the end of the, our turn. So we, uh, and we know what we'll do next time. So we move into the enemy phase. The enemy is exhausted. So we move into the upkeep phase. We get another knife where we need to draw some cards because, you know, knives are not what we need. We need a shriveling. Uh, and I know we're going to have the arcane initiate down, so that should help. Um, but um, not at the moment. We can't bring out the arcane initiate. So uh, the draws are not really what we want at the moment. <coughs> One, two, three, four. Oh, um, it tells me here. We've got seven in the hand. I'm counting it, and it's actually there. Okay, that's the end of the upkeep phase. So we move into the good old mythos phase. There are four doom down. The other thing we have to bear in mind is, is the Mass Hunter is going to be on us relatively soon. So that's why I want Shriveling, so we can actually deal with him, because we're actually in a pretty good position to deal with him with our Holy Rosary, but we need Shriveling. So uh, let's see what the Encounter deck has for us. And uh, the Encounter deck has uh, Spend a Clue or Take Two Damage. Now I could... I could use Ward of Protection here, but I feel like I should keep that for a rainy day, so I'm going to take the two damage at the moment. Uh, and hopefully I won't, re won't, won't regret that. Regret that? We'll see how we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was an obscure Worms reference there for those of you playing at home. Okay, so uh, that was the... Um, that was the uh, mythos phase, so we move into the good old investigation phase. Three actions onto Agnes. So we've basically got to do something here and then get out of here before the uh, before the mast the mast before the uh, hunting night gaunt bears down on us. So um, I think the first thing that we do which would be the obvious thing, is to draw the three cards. So we will draw the three cards. One, two, three. No shriveling. A blinding light, but no shriveling. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay, so that's our first action. Our second action um, is to um, get this clue. Ah. Uh, the hysterical society here. So um, now um, <laughs> we're going to have to throw away two cards anyway. So ooh, we might as well use something. This is uh, evasion. So that's uh, that's good. That's actually good. We're going to actually going to need <laughs> going to need that possibly if we don't have shriveling then. Um, blinding light, we're going to need it. Um, these are really good, but oh boy, what will we throw away? Hmm. We're going to have to throw something away because otherwise, well, I suppose we can just throw the knives away. We're not going to fight with them. So, yeah, let's just get rid of those. I mean, seriously, we're just not going to use them. Ah, boy. Anyway, okay. So, um, so I'm going to use my flashlight again. So, this reduces this to a shroud of one. Um, and we are a uh, two, which means we're looking at a minus one or better. Am I going to be able to get the rabbit's foot down? No, because we've got the Holy Rosary. So I'm going to throw that in. So that gives us... Um, what does that give us now? So that gives us a uh, three. A three versus a one. So a minus two or better. That's pretty good. Okay, let's see what the Chaos Bag gives us. It gives us a skull, which is fine. Yeah, so we actually succeed and we get that clue. Great. 
Okay, that was our second action. Is that our second action? Yeah, that was our second action because we drew the three cards. We successfully investigated. Now we could stay here and get the cultist at, but we're not going to do that. We are going to quickly move over to St. Mary's Hospital. Uh, one clue. We can heal damage here, which is probably not a bad thing. <laughs> uh, so that's pretty good. We, we we have the two clues now. The problem is is um, the next turn we've got to deal with the fact that this hunting night gaunt will be well. They could hunting night gaunt could move to either of these places, but probably to um, uh, to south side because that's the way we went. So we're going to have to deal with the fact that we're going to have the Mass Hunter on us. Uh, and uh, the Hunting Night Gaunt's going to move as well. So we're going to have a bit of a bit of a problem. This is evading. Yeah, you just evade one thing. And we don't have the shriveling, unfortunately. So there's a bit of a problem. Okay. All right. Okay. Anyway, let's let's worry about that um, when the time comes. Okay. So uh, yeah, we've got the two clues. We're just really struggling um, with things. So it's the enemy phase. Uh, the hunting night gaunt's going to move. Yep, to south side. Uh, it could move to Miskatonic University, but I, I've taken this idea that it would probably follow where we've gone. If it's hunting us, because we haven't been to Miskatonic University, why would it go somewhere we haven't been? So, so we move into the upkeep phase. Yeah, so we are only we've got to select two cards here. Um, what are we going to do? Um, I think it's obvious that we get rid of the knives. We're not going to use those. So let's select those. So we get rid of the knives. Uh, and that's the end of the upkeep phase. Um, at least we've got plenty of resources. So we move into the mythos phase. So we're now in the twilight, uh, the, the the witching hour, because this will this will pop over in the next turn. So bringing out the arcane initiate. Um, now it doesn't matter. So um, that's something to consider. But first of all, before we can think about what we want to do. We'll have to see what the encounter deck has for us, and the encounter deck has false lead. One or more clues, test four, which we will fail. Probably place, for each point you fail by, place one of your clues on the location. Oh boy. So, um, I don't want this. So I'm going to spend one I'm going to bring out, we can do this, can't we? This is for non-weakness treachery cards. It's a treachery card. We cancel that and we take a horror. Horror. Um, so we've cancelled that because, um, yeah, I mean, we're not doing any damage to anybody, but I don't want to lose my clues. Uh, and we could have potentially lost both of the clues, which would be a real pain in the backside. Okay, so that's the end of the Mythos phase. So we move into the good old um, investigation phase. Three actions onto Agnes. So, oh boy, what are we going to do here? Because, yeah. So, the Mass Hunter is going to appear, and we uh, and also the Hunting Night Gaunt is going to bear down on us as well. So if we stay where we are, we're going to be in all kinds of trouble and no shriveling. Um, so, uh, but it would be good to get the Arcane in Initiate out. I mean, what we could do is, but it's it's risky is we could play the Arcane Initiate, exhaust it, and hope that a Shriveling comes out <laughs> in the top three cards, <laughs> which I think is a very, very risky kind of endeavor. What's, what's, more, what's more likely to, to, to work, at least in the short term, is using the Blinding Light. 
Um, that will do damage. So I think what we'll do is, unfortunately, we're going to move to um, Miskatonic University. Uh, two clues. Um, ooh. So again, we could do this where we search the top six cards of our deck for a time or a spell, but if we do that, uh, again, we're risking no. So it's a nice to do, but I think we move up to north side. So we get out of the way. There's two clues. And then I think we've got one action left. So we're up here in north side. So we've moved away. Um, now I think what we do is now that we've moved away, so we can't be monstered by that, we spend one. We bring out the Arcane Initiate as our third action. That gets a Doom. But that doesn't matter. Uh, and then, um, yeah, that's our third action. So we've moved, we've brought out the Arcane Initiate and immediately I'm going to exhaust the Arcane Initiate uh, and search top three cards for a spell card. Let's have a look. One. Ah, oh, that was Peter was next. Ah, oh. oh, but we brought out the Arcane Initiate. And guess what? No spell cards, ladies and gentlemen. None of these are spell cards. Ah, oh, bugger. Okay, well, that's all right. Well, at least we know they're not. So we'll put them back in and we will shuffle the deck. There we go. So uh, I think we're ready. We're ready for the... Uh, we're going to be using Blinding Light. We're sort of relying on Blinding Light. We've got Blinding Light. We've got Lucky. So as long as we're on Auto Fail, we can evade the um, the Masked Hunter. And indeed, we can uh, do some damage to the Masked Hunter as well. So uh, that, that can all work out. We've still got our two clues. So, you know, things are okay. If only we've got the Shriveling. We can get the Shriveling. Hopefully, we can still search that up with the Arcane Initiate. So, um, but we're sort of running out of time, that's the big problem. Okay, so that's the end of our turn. Let's move into the good old enemy phase and the, the Hunting Night Gone, of course, will move up to Miskatonic University. Um, then we move into the upkeep phase and we get a unexpected courage, which is always welcome, but shriveling would have been better. Um, okay, so we move into the um, move into the mythos phase. There we go. All the doom uh, is now um, so. There's the there's the uh, mass hunter. Wow, such a cool dresser. Look at the skivvy he's wearing. Wow. It's I do like that jacket. Okay, and um, yeah, so the mouse hunter has engaged us. He's arrived. Um, uh, fantastic. Uh, and for some reason here, we'll just put this up here. I don't know why Agenda 2 isn't there, but it is up there. So we've now got eight turns. Time is running short. Yes, <laughs> yes, it is running very short. Okay, so there we go. And uh, finally, and... Um, uh, this could also help us. Uh, let's see what the encounter deck has for us. And the encounter deck has... Oop, it's not doing anything. Here we go. Encounter deck has Mysterious Chanting. This is a treachery card. Place two doom on the nearest cultist. I don't like... I really don't like the idea of this at all. So I'm going to spend one and I'm going to bring out the Water Protection, which will um, cancel that. That means we take another horror. Yep, but we do a damage to um, Mouse Hunter in the process. So that was a way of damaging him. Nice. There we go. So we've already done one damage. One down, five to go, because he has six health. Um, because there's plus two per investigator. And when you engage with the Mouse Hunter, you can't discover or spend clues. So not that I'd be doing that, but you know. Just, just letting us know. Okay, so uh, there we go. That's the uh, that's the end of the mythos phase. So we will move into the investigation phase. 
three actions onto Agnes. So, um, what do we do here? Well, uh, yes, we, uh, we're going to be doing some Benny Hilling. That's what we're going to be doing. <laughs> um, I think the first thing that we do... Um, is seek to evade uh, the um, Masked Hunter. Um, so, um, yeah, we'll spend two. We'll bring out Blinding Light. Uh, this uses willpower. So we have a willpower of six. So we've got tons of willpower. Uh, six versus two. So basically, that's a, um, a minus four or better. Now, I could use fearless, but I want to keep fearless because if, if we get, um, if we do get shriveling, I want to keep it for that. So I don't want to waste it. We've got lucky if we need to. So it's a six versus a two. So a minus four or better. Chaos bag gives us a minus two, so we succeed. So we. Uh, <coughs> now, yeah, we evade. We didn't lose an action. And if you succeed, deal one damage. So uh, that's another damage. So that's two down, four to go. So that was a nice little effect. So the Mars Hunter... Ow! Ow, that's bright! Oh, dear. Okay, I've just got to adjust the... Uh... There we go. So the Mars Hunter has been evaded. Uh, that was our first action. Uh, now I'm going to exhaust the uh, Arcane Initiate. Look at the top three cards. One, ooh, two, three. So we don't get a spell card, but we've avoided drawing our Amnesia. So that's something at least. And we'll shuffle that up. Wow, that was good. Um, hmm, shouldn't be there. Okay. So that's our first action. Well, obviously, we're not going to move back to Miskatonic University. So for our second action, we will move to um, downtown, um, which is a three sh shroud, one clue location. So we'll put a clue on downtown. Now, um, I could um, spend the two clues and um, search for the first cultist. But I don't want to do that because what I don't want to happen is end up with Wolfman Drew. Uh, I'm in no position to fight Wolfman Drew. So I think the best thing to do is to move again. Um, is it? No, it probably isn't actually because I'm just thinking if I move again, then the um, Hunting Night Gaunt will move to Rivertown. Uh, the Masked Hunter will then start to move to downtown and I'll get scissored. I'm actually better staying here because then they'll both end up together. So I'm better off staying here in downtown. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is, even though I don't like drawing cards on the final, I could gain three resources. That's something else I could do. I wonder if I should do that. Um... Yes, because we need the resources. So I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to gain three resources. Okay, so we successfully evaded the Mars Hunter um, with our blinding light, did some damage. We then moved to downtown and we gained some resources. So that's our three actions. Uh, so next time, we are going to, both of my, our enemies are going to be up here at north side. So we will then aim to get the first cultist down and hopefully we can get some victory points because at the moment we've got none. Um, if we can get the shriveling, it's going to be real easy to kill the mass hunter. The only issue will be is the hunting night gaunt will be there with the mass hunter. So that's going to be slightly problematic. But, you know, let's not worry about that at the moment. So uh, we will move into the enemy phase. So yes, the, the Hunting Night Gaunt moves up as well. So they're both on north side. Um, we will then move.
move into the upkeep phase. Uh, and we get shriveling. Ah, oh, yes. Yay! Woo -hoo -hoo. Great. Fantastic. Okay, good stuff. So that's that's good. Okay. We're, we're, we're cooking with gas now. We can actually... We can actually do something here. We can actually make a difference. Um, okay, so that's our upkeep phase. Um, so we move into the mythos phase. First doom down, seven to go. This could all go pear-shaped now because let's see what the encounter deck has for us. And the encounter deck has uh, <laughs> another false lead. Yeah, what? This is this. Uh, okay. Four, and we are a two. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we've got a choice here. Do we. Hmm. We might get drawn to the flame, so I'm going to throw in my other flashlight. So that gives us a three. Uh, and we might have to use lucky. I don't want to use this unexpected courage because I might need unexpected courage uh, to make sure that I succeed. So if I lose the clues, I lose the clues. So it's a four versus a three, a four versus a three. Chaos bear gives us a skull, which is um, z zero. So four versus three. So that means we would lose one. So we either lose clue or we use lucky and keep our clues. I think I think I'm going to do that. It's not in the way I want to use lucky, but I would rather not fail. So that gives us plus two. So three, four, five. Yeah, five versus so we succeed. Okay, that's not how I wanted to use Lucky, but I don't want to lose my clues, otherwise um, we're just we're just going to get nothing. So there you go. That's the end of uh, that's the end of the Mythos phase. So we move into the investigation phase. Three actions onto poor old Agnes. Okay. So what are we going to do here? Um, I think the first thing we should do is actually work out what the cultist is that we're going to get. Oh, no. <laughs> we're not going to do that first. So we've got a choice here. We, uh, well, maybe the first thing we should do is to exhaust the arcane initiate. Let's exhaust her first before we start doing stuff. We'll exhaust her. Top three cards. One, four, two, three. Oh, there's the other lucky. So we can take the scrying. And put those back in and shuffle. So that's nice. Now we've got two choices here. We could either move over to East Town and then bring out the first cultist. Or we could plunge headfirst. Oh, we've got to bring out... Now what we would do is, so we've got two choices here, we, this is a diverging path here, we could spend three, bring out shriveling, but then move, no, that's that we can't do that, I was just thinking. So what we should do is, our first action will be to move to East Town, geez we're really getting around aren't we? Uh, one clue. Um, so that's just moving out of the way because these two are going to move over. That's our first action. Second action. I'm going to spend three. And I'm going to bring out Shriveling. And it's got four charges. There we go. That was our second action. So we're now ready. We are ready for the Mast Hunter. Okay. And then for our third action, 
Um, I, I could bring out scrying, but no, I want to spend these two clues and I want to bring out at least one cultist. It would be awesome if it was, um, if it was um, oh, the guy in the graveyard. What's his name? Not Wolfman Drew. Uh, what's his name again? Edgar something. Anyway, the guy in the graveyard with the mask. <laughs> It'd be great. He would be perfect because not only would he be easy for us to deal with, uh, we'd be easily getting into the graveyard. Um, Herman. Herman Collins. Okay, so let's shuffle up. Come on. Herman. Herman. No, no. Shuffled the wrong thing. That's not the one we want. Here we go. Let's shuffle up. We've shuffled up these and we get... No, we don't get Herman, unfortunately. We get Ruth Turner uh, and St. Mary's Hospital. So... Uh, she's a five evasion. And we don't have blinding light anymore. So she's going to be a bit tough. But anyway... That's our third action. Uh, Herman Collins would be perfect. Yeah. Hmm. I don't, still, still go to the graveyard, actually. The problem with going to the graveyard is the dead end. So um, these guys will keep chasing us. We can go to the graveyard and get a victory point. And then maybe it's a last stand. We Because um, I think there's two clues of the graveyard. So... And then we could then fight the the masked hunter and get him. And so maybe that's the best thing to do. The best thing to do is to get into the graveyard, get two more, um, get two more clues, get the victory point. Hopefully, draw Herman Collins, uh, and then <clears throat> these guys will follow us, and then we'll shrivel the masked hunter to get the two victory points at the end. I think if we manage to do that. Um, the other thing is we could uh, get the clue here and get the clue at Rivertown because those are relatively easy clues to get uh, and then move to the graveyard and then get another cultist out. So that's that might be worthwhile doing as well. Yeah. So that wasn't too bad anyway. We got ourselves set up. We, we, moved, we moved to East Town. Um... We brought out Shriveling, and we brought out Ruth Turner as the first cultist um, enemy, which is not Herman Collins would be perfect. Okay, so uh, let's move into the enemy phase. So these two enemies move followers. It really is Benny Hill. And um, we move into the upkeep phase, and we get the heirloom of Hyperborea. Uh, well, we've already got the Holy Rosary down, but uh, some nice pips here if we need to use them. There we go. Um, so we, uh, yeah, we move into the Mythos phase. So then our two Doom, we've only got six turns to go, and we're still no victory points. That's the most frustrating thing. If... Uh, no victory points at all, but let's see. Don't worry about that now. Let's see what the encounter deck has for us. Encounter deck. I thought we hadn't had a, a locked door and obscuring fog, and we get obscuring fog. So that changes that to a um, to a four shroud, which I kind of answers the thing now because uh, probably better to uh, get to the graveyard and um, and deal you know get get the victory point and get the clues in the graveyard and if we're lucky we'll get herman collins um and if not even if it's peter warren we can make we might be able to jump across and get peter warren so that i'm thinking we try and sort of leave the mass hunter to sort of towards the end if we can just string him along and then we can hop into the same location as him and shrivel him to death towards the end so uh yeah as long as uh, so, yeah, there we go. That's the end of the mythos phase. Luckily, we haven't had too many acolytes and things pushing the doom, you know, up higher that we've had to deal with. So that's been handy. He says famous last words. So let's move into uh, we're turn eight now. Let's move into the investigation phase. We put three actions onto Agnes. So I think we leave this clue now. So I think what we do uh, first of all, let's exhaust the 
Arcane Initiate before we do anything else. Let's not forget. Let's look at the top three. One, two, three. Is that a spell? It's not a spell. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow, Amnesia keeps coming up. Well, let's get the other shriveling. Very nice. This has been really handy to avoid Amnesia. Shuffle that up. Okay, so we've got a second shriveling now. So that's that's really great. So that's what we'll do first. So I'm going to move back to um, back to River Town. Um, do we? What do we do? Do we go straight into the graveyard, or do we try and get this clue here? Um, I think we give up because they'll move here. Yeah. So I think actually I'm going to go straight into the graveyard. The quicker we get this done, the better. Yeah, two clues. Pity we don't have drawn to the flame. It's only a one shroud location. After you enter the graveyard, test three. Okay, so we are a, um, we are a six. So we are a six. Uh, yeah, let's make it a seven. So seven versus three. Chaos bag gives us a skull. So we succeed. So we heal a horror. Uh, we get into the graveyard. So that was a third action. Okay, so let's... Our main focus next time will be to get these two clues. And if we can do that in two turns, then we can bring out another... Um, bring out another cultist. And with any luck, it'll be Herman Collins, but we'll see. But at least we'll have a victory point. Okay, so we basically moved... Uh, we started here. Hold on. What did we do? Was it? We moved. So we started here in East Town, so we moved to River Town, and then we moved to the graveyard. That was two actions. So actually, uh, we should have another action. We haven't done anything else. Because we, we, we uh, used the Arcane Initiate, we were here. We, um, we then moved to... East Town, and then we moved to the graveyard. So we've just used two actions. We didn't do anything else. We didn't investigate. Um, no. So we've got one action left. So we actually have an action left. So I'm going to use the third action to actually investigate. Yeah, because we started here. Um, it's it's forced an extra action. So we just moved one, two. So we can do a one versus a two here in the graveyard. Um, I'm probably not going to use this scrying, so I'm going to make it a 1 versus a 3. See how we go. 1 versus 3, Chaos Bag. Um, we draw another skull, so we succeed and we get one of the clues. Fantastic. Okay, well that was a very, very successful round from Agnes's perspective. We got ourselves another Shriveling in East Town. Um, we then moved um, to River Town. We then moved to the graveyard, and we successfully got into the graveyard and healed ourselves a horror using Fearless. And then for our third action, we investigated and we got ourselves the first clue. So next time we'll get the second clue, we'll um, bring out a cultist. If it's Peter Warren or Herman Collins, um, then we can then focus on, well, if it's Herman Collins, it'd be fantastic. Otherwise, we'll deal with whatever it is. Okay, so uh, no no victory points yet, but still doing okay. Still doing okay. Enemy phase, these two will move over to um, move over to East Town, so they're just following me around. Um, <coughs> so we will move into the upkeep phase, and we get drawn to the flame. 
That's brilliant because that means we could m move over to Miskatonic University and literally get the victory point there as well. So uh, that's really, really handy. We just got to deal with whatever happens. Um, all right, so there we go. So we move into the um, Mythos phase, three Doom Day and five to go. Let's see what the encounter deck has. And the encounter deck has the one person I didn't want to see was the Wizard of the Order. Ah, I hate this guy. Oh boy. <sighs> He's easy to kill. We can kill him easily. But it's where we put him that's going to be the. Uh, man. Because if I put him. <clears throat> I could put him here, but then, then we're going to end up with three people on here. And we're going to kind of, because we're going to get this other clue. Or we could put him up here. I think here's the best place because we can get over. We've just got to be mindful that he's going to be adding an extra doom every time. But um, that's not where it... Oh, but then if we get Devereaux, then we won't be able to... Well, I guess we can prepare here and then move up. Yeah, so I'm going to put him here. So we're going to move across. So let's... Um, we've just got to be mindful about how we're going to do this, though. Um, Um, mm. Okay, and then there's a doom on him. So we're now up to four. So we're gonna have to. We, we are gonna have to deal with him and kill him. Oh boy. Okay, that's that's. Oh, I hate the wizard of the order. Okay, we move into the investigation phase. Three actions on two Agnes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to. Um, We're going to try and get this clue here. So we uh, we investigate. Let's use this. So we bring bring this down to zero because I've got drawn to the flame. So let's just bring it down to zero and let's let's get this clue minus four. Well, uh, yeah, we get to zero. It's a zero. So we succeed in getting the clue. So there's the two clues. Um, so we get the victory. Let's just put a victory. So we get a victory point at last. Now, um, we, we've got two choices here. We could spend the two clues here. Or we could move to the Miskatonic University and we could um, <coughs> try and get a victory point there. Because the Herman Collins might work and it might not. I just don't know. Um, <coughs> and, then, um, and then we can work out what we do, or do we, what's going to give us the most choices? The problem is if we're here and we get Herman Collins, then we've got to go all the way back. And we've got now got the Wizard of the Order up here. <laughs> <coughs> but if we if we now um, if we do it here and we don't get Herman Collins and there's a only a twenty five percent chance we would then we've got to then we have to fight the um, then we've got to fight the Mars Hunter straight off. Um, whereas at least if we're here we can get a victory point. We can easily kill the Mouse Hunter. Um, sorry, the um, Wizard of the Order. And we might draw Victoria Devereaux as well. And if it is Herman Collins, then um, 
we can get around either that way or that we can do it that way. So I'm feeling like we should move <coughs> to uh, Miskatonic University. All right. Oh, it's starting to get very complicated now, but at least we can get another victory point. So, okay, we move into the enemy phase and they both move down to um, Rivertown. We need to keep stringing the Mouse Hunter along because we, we need to kill him before the end of the, if nothing else. Um, I just realized something I didn't do, which was to exhaust the Arcane Initiate. Well, I forgot to do it, so we will just keep going. That was, that was a mistake on my part. Okay, so we move into the upkeep phase and I get Peter Sylvester. That's not a bad thing to get. In fact, he might be better than the Arcane Initiate, but we don't really have time to, to, to put him out at the moment. Um, so we move into the um, Mythos phase. There are four Doom on here. Encounter deck gives us... Oh, boy, boy, boy. Place two Doom on the nearest cultist enemy. So we can either put two Doom on the Mouse Hunter or we can put two Doom on the Wizard of the Order. Well, I guess if we put the two Doom on the Wizard of the Order, then we're killing him, whatever happens. So, uh, yeah, let's put the two Doom on the Wizard of the Order. So now he's, he's yeah, so we're going to have to kill him because otherwise it's the end of the end of the game. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. So, <coughs> there we go. So we move into the, uh, mm, we move into the investigation phase. Three actions onto Agnes. Let me stop and just, just think. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to um, exhaust the Arcane Initiate, look at the top three. There's no spells, so they go back in, shuffle that up. That was our first action. The second action is um, we could either get the two clues from Miskatonic University, then move up to Northside, and then, um, <coughs> and then kill the... Arcane Initiate. Or we could move up to Northside, um, kill the Arcane Initiate, um, because if Peter Warren is here, we can then use clue. We can then use resources to get two clues. That's actually a better way of dealing with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move. I'm going to move up to north side, which means that we're, we're now engaged with the uh, with the Wizard of the Order. That was our first action. Our second action is going to be to shrivel the Wizard of the Order. So, um, so we are a five, we're a six, six versus a four. We are a six versus four. Um, do we throw anything else in? I don't know that we're going to get, so I'm, I'm going to make that a seven versus a four. We can't afford to, so I'm going to make it a nine. Ooh. Yeah, a nine versus a four. Nine versus a four, so as long as we don't auto-fail, we get a plus one. So we kill the Wizard of the Order. So he's dead. We couldn't afford to. So um, now we can either use Drawn to the Flame and get two more clues, or we can spend the two clues and see who we get. I think it's better... I think it's better to get the two clues because if we draw 
Victoria Devereaux, she's going to do us damage um, because we won't be able to spend the five resources. But does that matter? What are we on? We're on six. She'd do us one point of damage. Yeah, it's kind of not the end of the world. So maybe we're better off getting the victory point at the moment. But then again, maybe we maybe we should risk it because we need to know who it is. Um, so yeah, I'm going to spend the two clues. Yep, and see who the cultist is. So let's have a look. Let's shuffle them up. And the cultist is uh, Wolfman Drew. There we go. So he's here. So we can kill him instead. That's actually, that's not too bad. So, um, so what we can do is next time we can, <coughs> we could, um, we could draw into the flame. Oh no, we could move and um, kill Wolfman Drew. And um, that will give us another victory point. Uh, and then we can bring out the shriveling for the, uh, and we could use drawn to the flame for the for the um, for the willpower instead. Um, and we'll need to bring out the second shriveling. So <coughs> I think um, I think that's probably the way to do it. It's also possible that we could. We could kill and draw into the flame and get a victory point. If we can get back to the Miskatonic, I don't know. It's it's really difficult to know what the best thing to do is here. But next thing is to get is to get to Wolfman Drew and kill him, which we can do relatively easily. Okay, so um, enemy phase. These these two move to the university. Um, and they're still running after us. Um, upkeep phase, uh, look what I found, fast. Yeah, that's brilliant. Perfect. Just what we want. That is so good. Okay. Um, great. Okay, brilliant. Great card. Okay, so let's move into the mythos phase. We are really running out of time now. I think if we can get rid of, if we can kill Wolfman Drew and then we can kill the Mouse Hunter, I think that that's... And we could, you know, we can get the north side. That'll give us one, two, three. That'll give us five. That'll, that'll be a perfect outcome. So hopefully that will happen. But before we do all of that, let's see what the encounter deck has for us. And the encounter deck has a locked door attached to a uh, location with the most clues, I believe. Yeah, now um, there are two locations with the most clues. So bugger it. I'm just going to put it on Miskatonic University. Tell me I can't. Um, so it's a, it's a Miskatonic University, the locked door, fine, good, that was a bit of a, that was good. So we would move into turn 11, uh, investigation phase, three actions onto Agnes. So here we are, um, here we are. First of all, let's exhaust the uh, Arcane Initiate and let's have a look, one, two, three, Lots of perceptions, but nothing else. That's fine. Shuffle that up. So that's the first thing that we do. First action, we're going to fast play. Oh, no, we're going to... Ah, oh, hold on. You've got to fail a skill test. So, um, yeah, it's not dis <laughs> it's not like a free discovery. It's not like Drawn to the Flame. So we could either use any of these, but the problem is then w w we wouldn't be able to kill Wolfman Drew because we want to kill him outright so I think what we do is we spend a clue we spend an action and move to um, downtown which means Wolfman Drew is on us okay here he is Wolfman Drew oh we believe in Wolfman Drew he's gonna kill us that's for sure okay so we're um we're we're uh, going to fight Wolfman Drew and hopefully uh, things go okay. So he is a four, four. So we um, we are a six. So it's a six versus a four. So we are going to shrivel Wolfman Drew. 
So that's say 6 versus a 4. Let's make it an 8 versus a 4. An 8 versus a 4. Chaos Bag gives us a skull, so we get do him 2 points of damage. Brilliant. That was our second action. Third action. We will go again. We will, sh we will shrivel him again. Um, we're a 6 versus a 4. I'm going to make that a 7 versus a 4. So that's a 7 versus a 4. Minus 3 or better. Chaos bag because it's an Elder Sign. Wow. Plus 1 for it. So we, we kill him. So Wolfman Drew is dead. That's another victory point. Fantastic. So there we go. That was that's pretty good. Um, great. So that's another victory point that we have. So so far so good. So the main thing we need to do is we need to get another shriveling onto the table. Uh, we need to get another shriveling onto the table. We need to... Um, and the other thing we... So there's two things. If we can get... If we can just get one more... Um, if we can just get... I'm just thinking maybe we put the lock door <laughs> in the wrong place. Um, I think what we've got to do is uh, get another shriveling onto the table and then I think we need to fight... Um, the Mars Hunter, because we're running out of time. Um, so I think the next go will be probably moving to East um, East Town, um, drawing some more cards, drawing a card or two. Hopefully we get some more cards we can use. Um, or we stay here because they'll be here we need the shriveling out on the table so anyway okay enemy phase the enemies move up to here um, so we move into the upkeep phase and get another drawn to the flame fantastic so we move into the Mythos phase, and we are now on six doom on the Mythos phase, so we really only have two turns left, and we need to resign as well, so we're kind of running out of time to do stuff. Really, really are, so um, we really need to uh, to get a move on. Let's see what the encounter deck has for us, and it's got an acolyte. Ah, uh, boy, that's, that's really, really put a cat amongst the pigeons, so can't go there, can't go there. Where do, well, we could put the acolyte here, we put it here anyway, and put a doom on it. Uh, that's that's kind of annoying because we're running out of time. Okay. Actually, uh Well No, we will put it there because yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, we move into the investigation phase. Three actions onto Agnes. First of all, let's let's exhaust the arcane initiate. Top three cards: one, two, three. No spells. Put them back. Shuffle them up. Okay, so. <coughs> Now we've only got one shriveling on here, so we need the other shriveling. So I think, yeah. So we either could move here, but then um, we we couldn't kill the mass hunter with what we've got, so that we can't do that. So what um what we what we need to do is we need to move to uh, East Town. We need to. Um, shrivel. Or do we evade two versus three? No. 
So we shrivel the acolyte. So he's a three and we're a six. I'm not going to put in anything else. So three versus a six. So we need a minus three or better. Chaos bag gives us a zero. So we kill the acolyte. And then we spend three. And we bring out the second, we bring out the other shriveling with four charges. So those are our actions. So, um, yeah. So our main, the main thing we're going to do next time is we're going to move on to um, downtown and we're going to shrivel the mouse hunter. However, we won't be able to do it before midnight. Um, but I would rather have the victory points, to be honest. So that's that's all. You know, unfortunately, we won't. Be, you know, that will be the final because that will give us two, three, four victory points, which is pretty respectable. Um, it would have been nice to have picked up a victory point at one of these from investigating using Drawn to the Flame, but things just didn't work out the way that we hoped. But uh, w we can finish the, uh, finish the Mars Hunter at the very least. Okay, so the enemy phase, the, uh, the Hunting Knight Gone and the Mars Hunter proceed to downtown, again chasing us again. So we move into the upkeep phase and we get uh, Peter Sylvester, which is another um, willpower result, which is great. That's, that's what we'll be using him for. Um, so we move into the uh, mythos phase. There are now seven doom. Encounter deck gives us, yeah, another acolyte, whatever. Okay, just sit here doesn't, yeah, and with the doom, doesn't matter. Okay, cool. So we move into the investigation phase, three actions onto Agnes. So here we go. This is the end of the line. So we've, it's gonna flip next time. It's gonna be the end. So we uh, spend a clue and we move into, uh, we move into downtown, which means that uh, the masked hunter, whoops, and the hunting night gaunt engages. Here we go. Okay, so uh, for our second action, now if if, one, if this fails, then of course we'll be resigning. I hope it doesn't. So we will shrivel the uh, mouse hunter. So he's a four, and we are a six. A four versus a six. Um, we'll make that a four versus a seven. I could make it a four versus an eight, but I'd rather, mm, I'd rather um, hedge our bets here and make it a four versus a seven. So we are a five, six, seven, seven versus four. Um, and chaos bag gives us seven. I think that's a minus three. It is a minus three, seven versus four. So we succeed, we do two points of damage, but we take a horror, uh, take a horror. <coughs> That's fine. So we take a horror, the horror. and um, we'll um, put another horror. There's no point putting a horror on him. So we'll put another damage onto him. Um, there we go. So far, so good. This is our final action. Uh, there's no other way for us to take horror. Oh, I didn't, I didn't use that, did I? The arcane initiative, some manner. Okay, final action. Okay, this is it. It's our final action, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to shrivel the uh, mouse hunter again. Uh, we are a five, six, and we'll throw in Peter Sylvester. That's a seven. So a seven versus a four. So again, it's a minus three or better. Crowd goes amazingly hushed as Agnes weaves the hands in front of her, saying strange arcane words into the air. Chaos bag gives us... Ah, uh, no, we 
we failed. Ah, oh, hold on. We did fail. Yes, we did fail. So that was a fail. He's not got retaliate. So uh, let's see what happens here because um, I think it's fine. Because, um, yes, so we failed. <laughs> Total fizzer. Uh, let me just let that sink in for a second and just take a drink. Okay. But that's all right because we move into the enemy phase and the mass hunter does two damage and a horror to us. So we take two damage. We take a horror and because we take a horror, uh, we can do a damage to the mass hunter. Yeah. So we can do him a damage as a consequence and he dies. So there we go. Wow. That's fantastic. <laughs> However, we take more damage. We take another damage and a horror. Well, the Holy Rosary can, can take the horror. So the Holy Rosary goes and no. Yes, the Arcane Initiate can die as well with the damage and the horror. So um, there we go. So that, that actually, that tablet, that minus three tablet saved, a, saved us because if we hadn't gotten that, we would, we would have needed two points of damage to kill him. So that was lucky. So that's the end of the enemy phase. So we, uh, uh, we survived the enemy phase. Uh, we move into the upkeep phase. Now we, we get a lucky. And um, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. It goes off into the mythos phase. Um, and indeed, indeed, the 12 bells ring out across the town. It is midnight. There is no time left to investigate. You must act based on the information you've collected from the cultists you've found, R2. There we go. Turn 14, R2. Um, we managed two cultists, the Mast Hunter, Wolfman Drew, so that's three, plus we investigated the graveyard. Four, four victory points for Agnes uh, in 14 turns. So uh, that was a little bit frustrating. Um, we could have turned that into more victory points. Um, and if Herman Collins had turned up or we'd just managed to have some extra time to use Drawn to the Flame. But all in all, uh, that didn't go too badly. Um, Agnes's um, um, ability to to, um, to to do damage when she takes horror was incredibly helpful uh, in this particular scenario. So um, I think things went pretty well for her. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And um, I very much look forward to uh, seeing you next time when we play the Midnight Masks again. Um, and uh, until then, I'm Krabby Terror 8 Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.